Open for 20-year-old Steve Slade, who after four substitute appearances and 16 goals in the reserves, makes his full debut in Spurs colours. Southampton welcome back Matthew Letizier from a bout of flu and really need him to provide the upturn to their season. Statistics at the moment are not in his favour. Four premiership goals, including three in the first game, compared with 13 at this stage a year ago. There's no room for self-doubt. Leave that to others. Slade for the injured Chris Armstrong is the only change in the Spurs side compared with midweek cup football, which means that Gary Mabbott has recovered from a calf knock and Teddy Sheringham's knee is sufficiently OK for him to continue a 100% appearance record. It suggests perhaps a defensive style. Their position is exactly as it was after 26 games last season, although they're five points less well off. They finished 10th. Stretch by Benison. Bit of space here for Slade. Oh, he's unlucky. Did well. Very disappointed, though, you could see. Could have been a dream start. Campbell, who played it through. But his shot was very quick, didn't let the ball come down. Sheringham. Wilson. Gets away, Sinton. Shouldn't really have been allowed to. Good block in the end. Tommy Widrington. Still on the transfer list, Widrington, but he scored against Chelsea last week. A good defensive chore there. Up by Mabbitts. Fox! Well taken by Charlton. Hit it cleanly, but from a long way out and... Slade, Sheringham! Well, it was interesting to the player who put his hands to his head was this one, Slade, having set up his experienced partner with a nicely cushioned head up. It got over it, but it actually flashed off a bit off the outside of the boot. Three in the box, Slade far side, and there's a goal. Jason Dezel. Sinton down the left side, delivered the cross. Besant was a spectator. First goal for Spurs. For Got a little bit of a deflection, I think, as it came across. And Dazel went in front of Hall, who was left looking at Besant. Neither. Uh, not a bad try. Paul Tisdale. Spurs victory on a day in which they were by no means at their best. And they come off to raucous noise from the uh, Tannoy and to somewhat muted applause from the spectators. The only goal scored by Jason Dazelle in the 64th minute.